Hi, I'm Rachel White with the Horizon League here with Paolo Graton of Milwaukee Men's Soccer, who was recently named the championship MVP after the Panthers earned the title over Northern Kentucky in the championship match. Um, so we'll start with that. Just congratulations. And how did it feel to win the first championship? Um, the program hasn't won one since 2013. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, I mean, it's truly been an honor. You know, you, you hear about it, you walk in, in our locker room, we have these like, I guess plaques as soon as you walk in where you, they have the dates, you know, when you last won and things like that. And, you know, for the first two years, I've walked by it and you, know, you kind of glance at the dates, but now it's kind of interesting to think like, oh, there's going to be a date on there that I added to, you know, I, I helped contribute to this program. I left a mark somehow, you know, and so it's, it feels great. It really does feel great. That's awesome. And you scored the only goal of the match in the 20th minute. So just kind of walk me through sort of what happened on that play, what was going through your mind and how did it feel when you saw it going to the back of the net? You know, with a lot of goals this season for me, it's all about positioning and timing, you know? So this, this play, you know, I think uh, our, our right back at the time, Sean Squid, it like knocked it long. It kind of came back in. Logan Farrington was there to kind of, kind of put it on frame and, I thought he had the goal. So I was just kind of standing there already like ready to cheer with him and their keeper made a beautiful save. And, but like I said, timing and place, you know, I was there inside. So it sat, I hit it as hard as I could. And, and then, I mean, then you get to celebrating, which in a, in a moment like that with the group of guys that we have, it just, it's awesome. You know, it really means a lot to, to, you know, cheer, see everybody smile and kind of jump around together. It was a really, really wonderful moment. Definitely. And I'm sure another great moment a little while longer when someone I'm sure told you that you'd been named championship MVP. So what was your reaction to that news? It was, it was funny. I actually, it was our, it was our captain, uh, Jake Kelderman told me, he was like, Oh, Hey, congrats on making a, a tournament MVP. And I was like, what does that mean? I'm like what? I didn't, I didn't know they did that. And then, and then I started to read it in my, then my, like five minutes later, my mom texted me and she's like, Hey, congrats. Awesome. And I was like, I didn't know like this is awesome I'm like I feel very honored to have who to have gotten it um to have that support from my coaches from my teammates and all that uh it's just it, it really is an honor it really is an honor that's great and going into the NCAA tournament obviously you guys haven't been in a while but went through a couple of tough matches here um to earn the opportunity to go so how do you think that experience will help you prepare for that next round I mean, I think you, uh, when it comes to playoffs and when it comes to these big time games, you often view it as just like one game at a time. You know, every opponent, they have their strengths, they have their weaknesses. Uh, so do we, you know, we have strengths. I think we're, we're a very good side. And, and going into this next game, we're going to look to play our style of soccer. We're going to look to to get after them, make them play their style of soccer and, and hope not hope. I, you know, I, I strongly believe we are the better team. You know, we are going to win. And so I think that's just, that's just how it goes. You think about just the next game, you know, we're not thinking about the rest of the tournament. No, no, it's the next game, you know, St. Francis, Brooklyn, that's who we have next. That's who we're going up against. For sure. And you mentioned, obviously your first opponent is going to be St. Francis, Brooklyn. You'll play them on Thursday. Um, so just talk a little bit about how your team's kind of uh, preparing here these next couple of days before you head to North Carolina. Um, well, we we're, we're looking to kind of manage some, um, some injuries right now. I think there's a few guys who got a little beaten up during that last little playoff run. Um, so we've have a, had a little bit more time to kind of recover and do those things. But uh, really, I mean, we've been in good form. And so really, it's about kind of topping off the tank, really f uh, focusing in on like details, you know, our touch, uh, really understanding our relationships on the field, how we're playing together. So I wouldn't say it's been the most like load bearing or not adding a lot of work, but it's a lot of fine tuning, a lot of details that we're trying to correct and, and get better at, you know, in preparation for this game. Well, that's awesome. Well, congratulations again on the championship MVP honors, everything you guys have accomplished in this season and best of luck when you head to North Carolina. Thank you so much. Thank you.